Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how I go about making these. These are timber pellets, timber plugs, uh, very very useful for when you're making hidden fixings, usually in a more expensive type of finished material, maybe oak, ash or sapelia or anything like that when you want to fix through it but you don't want to see the fixings. What you do is drill a counter bore, put your fixing further into the wood and then put these uh, pellets, uh, plugs in the top and then clean them off. Now I've got uh, a little box, I've got various uh, sizes, I've got these are these are sort of 9.5, these come pre-made, you snap them off and use them. I've also got, as I just showed you, I can also buy them sort of singly. I've got also some bigger ones here, these are up to sort of 17, 18 mil I think. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how I go about making my half inch ones, which is a really sort of common size. Um, what I basically use is this, it's a little plug cutter. Now the beauty with this, there's a couple of types of plug cutters. What I like about this one is the fact that this cuts a tapered um, plug. So obviously it's, uh, it's slightly a smaller diameter at the front and it goes out to a larger diameter at the back. And basically what that means is as you push it down into the counter bore, it gets tighter. Um, so yeah, it's a really simple case and I'm sure lots of people have done it before. Counter bore, this is a half inch, old school half inch or 13 mil auger bit and then we cut our plugs and um, put them in on top. Now what I'm going to show you is how I do it. I see many, many people who just get their bit of board that they want to cut their plugs out of, put the plug gutter in and then snap them out with a uh, screwdriver. But what that does, it, it's okay, but what it does, it can leave the the face of the plug that you end up tapping in, it can leave it jagged as it's been snapped out. And I'll just show you that quickly. So I've got a bit of oak here that what I've done is I've drawn a few holes in just uh, to use as a demo. I'm just gonna put the plug gutter in the drill and I'm going to cut a couple of plugs in. I'll show you what I mean about what happens when you snap them out. Now, this is quite an old plug cutter and actually I could do with replacing it slightly blunt. So I've got to put a bit of pressure down uh, to get them cut. So let's just do a couple of those. What you tend to find with these type of plug cutters as well, they can skip about a little bit. So you have to be kind of forceful with it and, and show who's boss. So here we go. Let's do another one. See how it skips about. charged up battery might help. Let's sort that out. Well, let's try a fresh battery. Sorry about that. What do they say? They're failing to prepare is prepare, preparing to fail, don't they? So let's just quickly finish those out. Oh, better, yes. So what we'd historically do now is, uh, is just break those out with a, you know, a screwdriver or something. So let's, just, let's get a screwdriver. Yeah, so now what we do is just, just break these out with a screwdriver. There we go, look, do that on the same. There, so, you see we've broken those out now, and what you find is, let's get that out there. So there's a really good example of what you've got, as you can see, it's, it's not very flat, and this will be the end that you would be hammering in. Now you probably could just clean that with a chisel. And uh, let's have a look at this one. Yeah, so this one's not come out, this one's not come out too bad, but you can see it's still not very straight. So. Basically, when we go to sort of hammer it in that hole, let's get my hammer out there. So you can see this one, because it's got that sort of rough uh, face on, when we go to try and tap it into the hole, um, it, it can, look, it, it, it makes you, it doesn't help you knock it in. This one will probably be better because it's not quite as bad. So they did go on, they went in all right, as you can see, but ultimately they would go in a lot better if the ends of these were nice and flat, they would hammer in better. So I'm gonna show you how I get those nice and flat when I make my plugs. Right, so I've got reset up, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut a line of plugs close to one edge. Now, if I had lots of plugs to do, what I would do is keep them in lines, and you'll see why a bit later in the video. So. I've got my plug cutter in my drill. Uh, as I said, this one's a little bit blunt. So what I'm gonna do just in this instance is just uh, keep it cool with some water. Obviously you wouldn't normally do this, but um, otherwise it will smoke and uh, it won't be very good for the video. So I'll, I'll put uh, maybe half a dozen or so plugs in here. 
and then we'll move on to the next part. Obviously when you cut these plugs with these type of plug cutters, you have to really keep a good grip of it when you first start it off, otherwise it wants to skip around. So you end up sort of finding a technique of how to do it so it doesn't, uh, doesn't move around. Let's do one more. That was hard work as I said, because that's blunt, I must get another one. But for the purpose of the video, it will do. So that's all those cut now, kept them in a nice straight line. What I'm gonna do now is take them over to the table saw and show you how I set the table saw up to knock all these plugs out so they all come out exactly the same size with a nice flat top. So I've set the table saw up, I've set uh, the distance between the blade and the fence. You've got to remember here that you don't set the distance that you want the plugs to be because these are coming out of the off side of the timber. So um, just, just remember that. And also what I've done is set the blade high enough so it just uh, cuts uh, in where these plugs are. You don't want it to be too high because you'll just be unnecessarily working the machine. So let's turn it on and watch these uh, plugs, pellets, pop out. So there you go, look at those. They all popped out, obviously the first one. Perhaps I didn't go deep enough with that one. So uh, let's set this up on that now. There we go. So there, just very quickly and accurately made six little plugs there that have got a nice flat top that will make it really easy when you go to hammer them in to the hole when you're finishing your work. So let's just finish the video off by doing uh, a couple of half inch holes and seeing how nicely those pellets go in there, shall we? Just move that off this side because I don't want to drill into my bench. I'll slow that down a bit actually. Right, so there we go. We've got some holes. Now I've got my lovely flat topped pellet. You can see quite easily because it's got a nice cut end which way the grain goes, which helps you when you're pelleting uh, to line the grain up. So let's stick one of those in there and see how that goes. Look at that, lovely. Bang it down, however you want it. Look, maybe just leave it a millimetre or so above. Let's do another one. Obviously normally you would put some glue on these uh, let's put that one in there, look at that. And because I said, uh, because they've got a nice flat top on them, uh, they knock in nice and square. Let's just do one more. Lovely, look at that. And then all you do now is just clean those off. So the beauty with these pellet makers is obviously you can um, cut pellets out of any material that you're working on. So I know I said that I buy some pre-made ones, but if you're working on a more exotic uh, timber, you can use the pellet cutter and uh, make your own pellets. Absolutely fantastic little bit of kit. So there you go, that's how I cut my plugs accurately. Now I know that not everybody's got a table saw, but that method could be easily adapted if you were using a circular saw, you would just cut them in strips. I understand that maybe if you've only got one or two plugs to do, it might be more aggro than it's worth to get the table saw out, in which case, you know, you might just break them out as I showed you earlier. But I find it, you know, generally when I've got any uh, pelleting work to do, that, you know, you, you want a few. So I'll just run a load off and I just find them really, really uh, easy then to finish your work with. So I hope you found this video interesting. As always, thanks for watching.